All right, let's start again. Let's start again. Let's start again. <laughs> so, <laughs> this run is from 1 to 15 on a standard account. Standard, well, we'll go bear, I guess. I don't know, whatever. And we're going to be starting from a completely empty stash. So, we're going to delete everything. And the idea of this run is to provide a example of a gameplay style that brand new players can emulate and be successful with one you know be successful to, in terms of getting to flea market enjoy getting to flea market um get to flea market with a bunch of money and after having and 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 after having like tried a bunch of different guns and have a method by the time that that flea market they should have a reliable method of making money solo that's that's the goal we don't want to overload the new player with a bunch of you know useless information like bullet how bullet different bullet velocities mean that you need to you know you need to you need to lead 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 shots at 200 meters with yeah yeah all that sort of nonsense it's gonna keep it simple make it fun and you know we're not gonna be we're gonna be collecting every quest item in the game this is just nice fun simple let's get to flea market let's enjoy ourselves let's try out some of the mechanics of the game let's learn a money run if you want to see a super hardcore sweaty guide for getting to max traders really really quickly then i'll put a link in the description for my uh, max trader speedrun guide in just under 58 hours we got it um but yeah but this is this is this is just for the completely brand new player i'm going to be trying to assume that i'm, I'm going to try to assume no prior knowledge at all and explain as much as possible um, but yeah, yeah. So, so the overall, the overall um, run will mostly be on woods. So we're gonna go into how to how to use the map genie map, how to use my cash guide, how to learn learn where the caches are, my woods intro guide, um, uh, about scab factions, woods only, why woods only. We might do a little bit of questing, like a little bit, a little bit. Just and and we if we and and we'll probably only do the quests that were available to be done on woods, so like a little bit of Jaeger therapist, um, and obviously introduction with mechanic. If we have a few mil, then maybe we'll dip to another map, but but only once we have that bank. Once, um, once it's clear that the new player is comfortable comfortable making money on woods, because then if they go to customs and try to you know get say pocket watch done. And they die ten times, then they know that they can always come back to woods. That's that's kind of the goal. Um, so yeah, 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 should be fun, should be chill. We're gonna try to not to rely on my aim as much as possible. So I'm going to be I'm going to be avoiding as many PMC fights, play of PVP fights as possible, and and yeah, yeah, and and putting us up in positions where it's really really easy to kill AI. So no. No, like, you know, randomly getting caught out in the open, having to rely on good aim. Hopefully, I'll try to stick to good hard cover, you know, right side peaking, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to delete, stash, delete everything, inspect, accept some quests. We're going to demonstrate how, in an offline run, how the offline run works. Demonstrate how to get to the start of my cash guide. Um, then we're going to do a scav run. And we'll uh, we'll explain that. And, um, and Notorious with the raid. Yo, yo, Taurus, thank you. Thank you so much for the raid, man. How was your stream? <laughs> welcome, welcome, Raiders. Really, really appreciate the raid. We're, uh, we're just starting a second account run for, um, when we're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to be, uh, trying to emulate, we're trying to be demonstrating a play style that a completely brand new player can emulate. So, like Pestilis the Raid, but way more broken down, way more focused on, like, the complete brand new player. That's the goal. And so, we do this, like, a couple of hours a day. Um, we're still we're still doing uh, 1 to 40 purely on streets on my main account, but this will be a fun little little thing to do a couple of hours a day on. Um, but, yeah, how was your stream? Really appreciate the Raid, my dude. And so, we're just going over my notes and explaining how the run is going to work. Um, but yeah, we'll start a, sca a scav run. On a successful scav run, we'll uh, we'll do some PMC runs, and 
and um, we're gonna keep the stash really, really simple. Link, part of the problem, part of the problem of over eager, overzealous people trying to help new players is that they're like, oh man, you gotta save this. You gotta save this item for a quest that you'll hit in a month's time. And then, and then the game slowly starts to feel more and more like a job and less like a game. So we're going to demonstrate that you actually need to keep very, very little. It actually doesn't matter that much if you don't keep, uh, if you don't hoard a lot of shit, uh, a lot of shit in your in your stash. So we're going to keep our stash super, super, super simple, so that it's just not like a headache every time they load up the game. Look at their stash. They're trying to remember why was I keeping this? Why was I keeping that? It doesn't really matter. We're just going to vendor pretty much everything. We'll keep only what we need. And uh, it'll be fun. Yeah. Main goal is to... The main, the primary goal is to uh, show how to get to Fleet Market with a bunch of money, um, with, a, with a firm understanding of a very easy money run, and, and, and um, being able to have, have tried out a bunch of the starting guns and kind of gotten a feel for killing scavs and, and some of the mechanics. Yep, that's the goal. All right. All right, so... Uh, English and um, Freddy said we should be called Big Winner. Big Winner? Is that right? Big Winner? <laughs> That's right. Big Winner. Nickname is already in use. No. Big Winner. Big Winner Elite. Let's go. Big Winner Elite. Hell yeah. We'll try Bear. This doesn't matter too much. Um, big Winner. Oh, Big Winner. Oh, Big. Oh, well, whatever. This is fine. It's fine. So it doesn't matter too, too much at the moment. You get a slight advantage on Lighthouse as a Usink, but doesn't really matter. We're just going to go Bear. You can go Usink or Bear. It's fine. It's fine. And um, yeah, we don't care about the voices. Uh, but how, how often do you stream, Torres? How, how was your stream, my dude? Big wiener? <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Either works. Yep, yep, yep. And like maybe after this run we'll do why do I already have a friend request? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um And after this run we might we might make a condensed guide. We'll see how we go. If a wood run where I end up oh one per, one mil per run reliably. Mmm, nice. Nice little John. Very, very nice. Yeah, anyway, so let's start by deleting stuff. Um. <laughs> oh, you know what's probably faster? Um, yeah, vendoring and then deleting the money is probably faster, isn't it? That's probably faster. I still have to click on everything. If we die our first scav run, I'm going to be quite sad. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine we just die on our first scav run and have to wait? <laughs> no, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Buy dollars and delete. That's right. That's right. Let me check my notes. So, delete stash, inspect everything. Okay, we'll start inspecting everything. Um, for rep, yep. I mean, vendoring everything kind of cheats because you get closer to level leveling vendor rep. Oh, true. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna inspect everything. The quickest way to do this is middle mouse button. Middle, by default, middle mouse button inspect. Um, you get a little bit of XP. You'll notice once we, after we finish um, inspecting a bunch of stuff, we'll get to level two. Get to level two. And. What, the other benefit of doing this is that when you're picking up loot, sometimes you can't, um, like in raid, sometimes you can't actually interact with it until it's inspected. So like, um, yeah, yeah. So it's good to what if whatever whenever you can, it's good to inspect things in your in your trader. It's not a huge deal, not a huge deal. It's pretty boring. So we'll do this for a while. 
do this for a while, for a while, for a while. Boom. Oh man, yellow flares are only two point three k, dude. We can we can be popping these for fun, man. <laughs> I might start. We might start popping these for fun. They're only two point three k. That's crazy. That's so cheap. I wonder if you get strength leveling from popping the flares. I haven't been. No, I haven't been. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. That's so good. That's only. That's so cheap. That's like nothing. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Use a distract and run with the ruble. <laughs> yeah. That's great. That's so good. Can we buy unlimited? We can buy oh five per cycle. Okay. Okay, not unlimited. I was getting excited there for a minute. But still, five per cycle is pretty good. Pretty good. Let me check my notes. Was there um Um Okay, okay. So first we're going to explain Okay, okay. After we do this, we'll go to Map Genie. Map Genie. Map Genie. So we're gonna we're gonna we'll pull up a map, map genie map. Uh, once I finish this, of the map that we're trying to learn, woods, the woods map. You can find it right now. Um, it, it, the link will be in, in the description. Uh, map genie woods map, or you could just Google map genie m a p g e n i e uh, space woods, and it'll be the top link. Um, uh, but also my my brand new player guide into woods will be in the, in the description. Where we go over what I'm going in in more detail, what I'm going to explain. Um, after we finish this, which is basically, so we've got the map right. We've got the map. We need to, in order to actually, actually get out with loot from the map. We need to, we need to go to a certain point and an, an extract, a specified extract, and and chill in there for like 10, 10, 10 seconds or so. And then we'll uh, have survived the raid, and we'll be able to pull the loot back out to our stash, right? So we so we need to so we gotta load into the map, figure out where we are, figure out where our extract is, go to the extract, and get out, and hopefully loot along the way along the way, right? That's pretty much the whole gameplay loop. You load in, you loot, go to extract, get out, and so we go go into it in more detail in the in the video in the in the description. But um, but yeah, we'll demonstrate it again whenever we finish uh, inspecting. This is, of course, the most riveting part of the uh, part of the run. And we're then we're then going to go into an offline raid. You know where where nothing uh, in offline raids you don't lose anything if you die. There's no no consequences. So you can use offline raids to 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 learn the map, you know, experiment, and hopefully find caches. So, caches are like hidden, hidden little little loot containers in which you can find a whole variety of different loot. And woods caches are the least contested in all of Tarkov. So, they, they, they are the safest, safest way to make money in Tarkov uh, on your PMC, on your PMC, which is your player. So, so like, this is my PMC, my PMC here, um, which is, you know, which is your main account, which is your main character. And then your, then you have, then you have, if you go back to menus, go back to menus. Then you have your scav, which is like a, a, a randomly generated basic loadout 
on a different uh, faction. So we have the PMC faction, which are, which are always players. Um, and then you have the AI faction, which you'll see around the map, which are split into AI and also scavs controlled by humans. So when we hit this and go into to a map and hit ready, we'll be loading in as a player scav who is allied who's allied with the AI, with the AI scavs, but an enemy to the PMC. So these these two are enemies. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll talk about more, more about that later. Let me keep, we'll keep inspecting, keep inspecting. So really on your scav, I would just err on the side of caution and not shoot anything. Because if you, if you shoot another scav, an AI scav, then you'll um you'll make all the other ones angry and they'll start killing you and also in future runs if you shoot them enough they'll they'll start to kill you straight off the bat so just just err on the side of not shooting anything unless they shoot you and hit you unless they actually do damage to you uh, but also you just run away just run away you know just run just run with your loot one run with your loot Run with your loot. So the scav, you'll be able to scav every like 20 minutes or so. Like there's a cooldown. So you can run a scav. You'll have to wait a little bit. And then you can run a scav again. Um, we're going to run the minimal number of scavs that we need. Because when you're playing your scav, you don't level up your your PMC character. Your main character. You don't level up their skills or their XP. You only level up your scav. And that's, that's not what we want. We want to get to level 15. So we want to play as many PMC raids as we can to get XP, level up strength, endurance, all these soft skills. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's keep inspecting. Keep inspecting. Keep inspecting. Inspect. So yeah, delete stash, inspect everything, accept quests, offline run. Woods naked PMC for the cash guide. Scav run woods. Unsuccessful scav run. Offline woods with PMC kit. Kill scavs find extract. Okay, great, great. Great. Um, see how we're level two? Just from the inspect XP. Yeah. Let's go Ragman. Level two already. So you can see our level over here. Amount of XP remaining to level three. We're going to be getting to level 15. That's when we unlock the flea market. So here, everything you see here is just from traders. Once you get to level 15, you can start buying and selling um, with other players. Buying from other players, selling to other players. And that unlocks the game a lot for you. Makes makes it a lot easier. Because you can buy a, lot of, a, a greater variety of things. And make more money make more money anyway so let's grab fence so unlike the other traders fence has a has a rotating stock so whenever someone sells something to this trader it pops up here and you can buy it for a premium so it's pretty i would i would pretty much never buy from fence unless you really want to pay a lot of money like over over the price um uh over the price too much over, over, what is the word what is the word i'm thinking of over over overpriced um they're all overpriced unless you want to pay a lot for that particular part and there are a couple of instances where we might do that but we can get into it later get into it later into it later Mm -hmm. But it's good for our XP. Good for our XP. Um, also, don't look at the gas cans at fence. I think it's full. Make sure to see how much resources are raining. Closing to be a mistake. Just don't buy gas cans. Yeah, from fence at all. Yeah, but, but that is a pro tip. Pro tip. Pro tip. Just... I mean, uh, gas uh, cans, not and cans. Just don't buy gas cans. All right. 
So we can refresh a little bit and every now and again we'll get new items to inspect as we did here. But you know, done done enough. And also like say with, with all these, you can double click on the guns and there'll be parts here that you haven't inspected. So you can definitely keep inspecting more. I'm, I'm getting pretty bored now of inspecting. So we're, uh, we're not gonna do any more. Um, all right, so open up the Map Genie link in the description or just search Map Genie Woods. Map Genie Woods. Um, here, yeah, Map Genie Woods. Click on the top link. Top link. And keep this open at all times. So we hit hide all over here, hide all. And all we want to see at the moment is our extracts. Extracts. So there are only two extracts which you want to learn initially. We're going to learn a third one later, but but two right now. Uh, I lied, actually. We got to learn the scab extract. Um, anyway, so four. Okay. I'm pre I'm not sure. I barely okay, I barely scav guys. I'm not hundred percent sure which scav extracts are guaranteed. So Chuckles once told me scav extracts don't exist. Okay. <laughs> okay, keep this up. This is gonna be fine. On our PMC, you're only gonna need to learn two extracts, outskirts, and um you and Roblox, but when we're on our scav, I'll show you how to figure out how to get to an extract and she'll be right. She'll be right. So keep this up. Keep this up on a monitor somewhere. Um, no scav extracts are guaranteed unless you have max rep. Oh, okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. And also open up the woods um, cache guide. Cache guide here. All right. Woods cache guide. Alter woods cache guide. Uh, which will also be in the description. Um, basically, so if we come back to this map, right? And we click on cache, click on cache. These are the locations of the hidden boxes that we want to loot. But we don't want to loot all of them every raid. There's too many, it's too many. So our goal, our goal in the run is to load in, one load in, figure out where we are, Figure out where we are. Figure out where our extract is, right? Three go, and then loot a couple of caches on the way to the extract, right? On the way. So you want to learn as many caches as you can, so that's easier to find caches to loot along the way to your extract. So let's say, let's say we load in um, here. Let's say we load in here, right? Roughly, roughly over here. What we want and our extract is over here. What we want to do is just beeline it straight for this extract. Say if we be like up here, but go as as almost as straight as we can to the extract and only loot the caches along the way. So we're not going to go all the way down here. We're not going to go all the way up here. Just straight to the extract because the thing is, is that you fill up your bag and rig really, really quickly. We don't need to loot them all. We just need to go for quick, quick raids where we're looting a little bit, looting a little bit, getting in, getting out, getting in, getting out. Yep. Um, but anyway, we'll get into more, more of that later. So basically my video, uh, well, if you click on these caches here, right, you can see a screenshot, screenshot of the cache. And for some people, this will be enough to find the cache, but I found it quite difficult <laughs> to, to find them all. So that's why I made the video. So we made the video, which shows you more context around each cache to, to actually be able to find it. And we so also have a map. This we also have a map um, that pops up down here, which shows you, yeah. yeah. So this will make it easier if you're struggling to find where the caches are. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to get, how to, how to do the first step, which is figure out where you are on the map at all. Uh, we want extracts, extracts, extract. Figure out where you are on the map and where your extract is. So yeah, yeah. So anyway, let's go into Tarkov. 
Um, so you want to go to the main menu, main menu, escape from Tarkov, PMC, PMC. Next, woods. Pick, pick a time between like six and and like 18 ish 18 so it's gonna st gonna start to get dark around like 21 30 ish and then light around like 5 36 ish so daytime would be better but it doesn't really matter because we're going to an offline run if it's too dark just you can quit quit the raid with no consequences so next very important enable practice mode for this raid very important so that's an offline raid with no consequences and we're going to gain the game settings we're also going to disable. Oh, can we do this actually? Oh, we're going to disable bosses. Uh, oh, AI. So no AI. No AI at all. Um. Can I disable food and food and water? Uh, that's fine. And now we hit ready. So make sure this is ticked and hit ready. So this is going to load you into a solo offline raid. So offline with no consequences. Why do I have a rig on? Did I forget to delete a rig? Hold on. What? 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 Did I forget to delete? Oh, I think I did. I think I did. I remember. I remember. Now we're deploying. I what? We can just we just quit out and delete it. <laughs> so we could just so whenever you're done with this you could just disconnect confirm leave you don't lose anything but man the number of times i've accidentally loaded into an online raid thinking it's an offline you just gotta make sure you check the button and you're fine make sure you check the check the box check the box check the box the box the box All right. Uh, oh yeah, we'll delete this. Boom. Okay, now we're completely naked. Nothing, nothing in the sash. Great. Um, woods twelve offline and no AI. Uh, none. That's what we want. None. Let's go. Let's go. So you've got the woods cache guide up. You've got the map genie map up. And uh, great. Great. So. In order to figure out where you are on the map, it's very simple, very simple. Notice on this map, right? There are four key landmarks, four key landmarks. One is a big lake, big, big, big lake. See a big, big lake, see that? One is a bunch of small lakes, small lakes. One is a big river, big river and We're dropping frames. Why are we dropping frames? What? Oh, because we're loading the whole map. Probably because probably we're just loading the whole map. What? Why? Why? Why has it just started dropping frames? I'm so confused. Hold on, let me check my task manager. Hundred? It's at a hundred. What? Why is it at a hundred? 